Hey there everyone. The thing that you have experienced just right now is Spectre vulnerability. Now this was for all the users who have been watching my content regularly but let me try to explain it in a little bit more detail and simplified example. Now let's just say you are a runner and you have been running for not long but just for a month. Now your body is uh, kind of a in a habit of running and uh, for a month you are running really nicely. Now for the next week you have decided that I'm not gonna run. So previously your body was speculating that hey this guy is a runner so I should just adopt like a runner. Now for this week you have decided that no I'm not gonna run. That means now your body starts speculating that this is not running at him anymore. And when you start running again for the next week it becomes a little bit difficult for you to start running. And this is all happening because your body is speculating something. Your brain is speculating something. Kind of a pre-judgmental thing. Or we can also say kind of adjusting with the habits of what things are usually happening. Exactly same kind of thing you have just experienced if you're watching my videos regularly. Now I usually start my video by saying, Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. So your brain automatically start judging and kind of speculating that this is what this guy is going to say. But since I didn't completed my sentence there, your brain didn't thought much about it and just thrown away that kind of a thought into garbage dump and nothing happened. This is completely okay. Now similar thing was tried to be done in the computer so that we can enhance the performance of a processor. This whole process is known as speculative execution in which whenever you try to open up your computer, there are a few programs that needs to run. There are a few computer kind of a calculation that always needs to be done and kind of a user friendly thing. For example, in your Mac, there is a finder thing which always needs to be open up. In Windows, there is a Windows Explorer which always needs to be open up. And there are so many programs and calculation which always happens and it would be really good for computers if they can do these kinds of calculation in little bit advance. I know this is not a perfect example of using Windows Explorer and Mac's finder. But some kind of a thing happened like that. Computer is doing pre-calculation for the work that you are kind of about to do. Kind of speculating that yes, you are about to do that. Now things get interesting when you don't do that things which are speculated. Now we are humans. We like to go random ways. But still, these are predictions that are being made. And sometimes this prediction doesn't work. So what happens, these computers, when these calculations are not being used, they just throw them away, just like exactly your brain does. But where these calculations are being thrown up is a cache memory and some kind of other parts of the memory which are not secured. And this is exactly the Spectre vulnerability. These calculations are being thrown at such part of the computer memory which can be accessed easily by anyone. And yes, there is a valid question that you can ask here that why nobody thought of uh, kind of a patching this vulnerability for almost 20 years. Now this is where the vulnerability researchers and pen tester comes in. These kind of a guy always thinks what should be happening just reverse of that or kind of a out of box thinking. And nobody thought about it for 20 years that this vulnerability or this dumping of the calculated data can be used or can be misused is a point of interest here. And this is exactly what is being taken advantage through the Spectre vulnerability. Now this whole advanced programming or pre-calculation of work or also known as speculative execution this whole thing, I definitely recommend you to read about them, but this was all done so that we can enhance the performance of computer. Nobody thought that this could have been misused and now the vulnerability is in front of us. Everybody is trying to patch this on a very serious note. And yes, on to a side note, I would like to add up a really great thank you to all the community of InfoSec, pen testers and security researchers who have really worked hard and brought uh, everybody's attention towards this vulnerability and really it's a thankful thing that they have done so that the guys who are having malicious intent cannot really take advantage of this. Also I would like to add here that by understanding the concept of speculative execution the Spectre vulnerability sounds so simple but it is not. It's a little bit more but really the whole concept is just about the pre-made execution uh, that was being trying to done here and being thrown without thinking much about this vulnerability. And yes, also we can say that in the previous days, like in 70s or 80s or uh, like around that time, very, very old time, 
the things were not like as they are right now at that time these resources mainframes and desktop all these things were not shared uh, so that these memory dumps cannot do really much harm but right now the things are changing towards cloud the sharing of the data is so much connectivity is so much so that is why this vulnerability just popped up and kind of had done a really a nightmare and yes on to update a lot of people are just pushing up a lot of updates to make sure that these vulnerabilities are really patched a lot of mobile software systems mac has recently released out a lot of patches and these are all just kind of a good patches to do a kind of a final job for that yes windows is also pushing out and if i'll find more about that i'll try to make a video on that try to explain more of these things but yes this is all about spectre vulnerability that's it for this video in case you have enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up and you can also hit the subscribe button there if you want to get the notification you can hit the bell icon as well i do upload a lot of content on this channel that is all related to programming so that's it for this video and i'll surely catch you up in the next video